We first checked out the room when we reviewed the original D2 and I immediately fell in love with the build quality and attention to detail that the room puts into their product. Today we're taking a look at a series of speakers from The Room which are aptly named their coffee series of speakers and to see if The Room does live up to their standards for all of their products and will they be any good. Welcome to a review of the The Room Espresso, Macchiato and Mocha. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with the review of the Divu Coffee Series. So if you ever have the opportunity to touch or use any of these speakers, I will guarantee that they will blow your mind. The sheer quality of any of these speakers is simply at another level. Today we're taking a look at three speakers that the Voom have graciously sent to me and although they have sent me these speakers, I will still be providing my honest opinion so you know what you're getting into before buying them. So the Voom Espresso retails for about US 36, the Macchiato at US 70 and the Mocha retails at about US 140. 50. All of which in my opinions are great speakers at its own league and if you're looking to buy any of these speakers do check out some of my links in the description below. So if you notice the coffee series range of speakers are designed to be like somewhat guitar amplifiers and I really love the design of every single one of them. So let's start with the Espresso. The Espresso is the smallest of the range and is designed with a lot of intricate details to make the speaker look nice and complicated at the same time. Although it's made out of mostly plastic, the weight of the speaker gives it an amazing feel overall. The volume knob is nicely integrated at the side of the speakers here and also acts as the play or pause button. The power switching is also camouflaged as one of the screws here. So the middle one here, the middle screw is the on off button. Right, and that turns on the speaker. And at the side of it, there are two additional knobs for track skipping. So this skips the track forward and this skips the track backwards. And in the middle here, you get a mode button which allows you to switch between the TF card mode, which you can use here, it's like a micro USB. And you can also switch it to FM radio mode. And at the side of the speakers, you will see a micro USB charge port and a TF card slot. And at the back of the speaker itself, you will see some nice classy font that tells you a little bit more about about the speaker. So the second speaker that we want to look at is the Macchiato and it resembles more of a small guitar amplifier and when you first pick it up you notice the weight straight away and the quality of the speaker is simply fantastic. At the front of the speakers you'll see a nice speaker grill with the Divoom logo nicely placed at the bottom right of the grill and at the top of the speaker you will see three different buttons lets you control the volume, the track skipping, playing or pausing, answering phone calls, all that good stuff. And at the side of the speaker you will see the power on off button so if you press on this it turns the speaker on right and not only that it also allows you to switch between the different modes and here you will see a micro usb charge port as well so both the espresso and the macchiato uses micro usb as these are not the latest speakers from the room and next we're going to move on to the big boy and the mocha is the biggest and the heaviest of the range and has a very solid cabinet feel overall so the design of the mocha is like a stretched out macchiato and this Divoom is actually a 360 degree speaker with speakers at the front as well as the back of the speakers. So you see the same grill at the back. So this is a 360 degree speaker. And in front of the speaker, you get a nice metal grill, very high quality and the Divoom logo at the bottom right of the speaker as well. And at the top of the speaker, you will see various types of controls. You get the power on off, the volume button, uh, the Bluetooth connectivity button as well as a play or pause button. So the volume plus minus will also act as track skipping. And at the side of the Mocha, you will see a battery indicator. So there's four LED indicators here to tell you the battery percentage of the Divu Mocha. And under this flap, you will see the USB Type-C charge port, as well as a 3.5mm auxiliary port. 
So in terms of the battery life, the Espresso comes with a 5 hours of continuous playback time which is decent for a small speaker of this size. The Macchiato comes in second with an 8 hour of continuous playback time and at the top you get an impressive 25 hours of playback time with the Divoom Mocha. All of these speakers come with Bluetooth 5.0 but the room doesn't really specify the Bluetooth chip or the audio codecs that they run. But one thing is for sure, they all definitely sounded good. We'll take a look at the latency performance as well in a little bit more. Personally, I don't see any IP rating for these speakers and so I don't think that they are water resistant. Apart from the Espresso, both the Macchiato and Mocha sports TWS mode meaning you can pair up two of the same speakers and create a daisy chain of awesomeness. So now None of these speakers supports multi-point connectivity so you cannot connect any of them to more than one device at the same time so that's something to take note of so personally the main selling point for me of all the three speakers is the sound quality so keep in mind that three of these are very different speakers and they compete at their very own league the Espresso for something so small produces a sound signature that you expect from a tiny speaker. The Espresso gives you a very clean and bright sound signature and is all produced in a tiny 4 watt 32 mm driver. Don't expect these to give you a lot of bass but if you want something tiny and small and also loud, the Espresso doesn't disappoint. So for the Macchiato, it has a single 6 watt 40 mm driver but has two passive radiators, one on the front and one on the back and that uses the air pressure that's generated inside the speaker cabinet to drive the two additional passive speakers. So the sound signature of the Macchiato is a little bit more body than the Espresso and you can start to hear more bass compared to the Espresso. For its sound, this tiny speaker is capable of filling a small room with music. So finally, the Mocha is the best sounding of the bunch and comes with a 6 speakers array in its 360 setup. There are two 15 watts active drivers, two pairs of 5 watt tweeters and two silk wrap passive radiators, one set on each side. So there are six speakers in total. The sound signature of the Mocha is definitely very bold, very bassy and punchy and has a very nice bass kick with very clear and clean mids and highs. This is all thanks to the impressive array of speakers in something so small. The Mocha gets really loud even on its own and is capable of filling a small 800 square feet space without breaking a sweat. Let's take a listen to the sound signature of these speakers. So from my test, I think three of these speakers perform exceptionally well in the call test and they work great in both quiet and noisy environments. The benefit of using a speaker is that you can put the speaker very close to your mouth unlike earbuds that you put very far away from your mouth. So let's take a look at the call quality test of these speakers. The test to see if the Divoom Espresso is a good speaker is from the phone call. So now it's speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So I'm going to do now to turn on a simulated background. Now I think you can see the difference. 
You know, there is a simulated background noise playing in the background, and this is the call quality that you can expect from the speaker. So this is the test to see if the Zoom Macchiato is a good speaker for making phone calls. So now I'm sticking in a relatively quiet environment, and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear the difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background, and this is the call quality that you can expect from this speaker. So, so this is a test to see if the Bebu Mocha is a good speaker for making phone calls. So now I'm speaking in a relatively quiet environment, and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear the difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background, and this is the call quality that you can expect from this speaker. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So these three speakers handles YouTube and Netflix with no problem thanks to the Bluetooth 5.0 chipset, although all three still show sign of delay in gaming. Anyway, let's take a look at the latency performance of these speakers. If you need a Bluetooth speaker, just get one of these speakers, seriously. It's a good piece of art at home, it sounds great and it's a nice conversation piece when you have people around. I'm sure there are better speakers out there but just give this a go and I believe you won't regret it. So that is it for this review and if you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere and if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.